Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bed bugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. Like the song we sang, you're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang, Gang, Ding, 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 Ding. Sparky, are you ready for some forgiveness fun? I guess so, Buzzer. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't understand what that means. Of course I'll forgive you, Sparky. That's what forgiveness fun is all about. Oh, goody! Let's have more forgiveness fun with our first story. It's called Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau do not look the same, but Jacob and Esau are twins. Jacob and Esau both share a last name, and that's where the likenesses end. Those two are twins? They don't look alike at all! Jacob is scrawny. His skin is quite fair. He really likes staying at home. Esau is brawny and covered with hair. Way out in the forest he roams. They're as different as can be. Jacob is tricky. He plans and he plots. He wants to be wealthy someday. Jacob wants everything Esau has got. He sets out to steal it away. Jacob sure is tricky. Look out, Esau! Esau was out on a hike through the woods while Jacob was cooking at home. Esau came home and he smelled Jacob's food. So Esau asked Jacob for some. Smells good. I'm starving! Jacob said, Esau, I'll give you a bite, but first you give something to me. Esau said, please take whatever you like, for I'm just as starved as can be. Could this be a trick? I don't care, I'm hungry. So on that day, Jacob did something bad. He struck up a terrible deal. Jacob took everything poor Esau had, and all Esau got was a meal. That's not fair. Jacob tricked Esau. Now Jacob had what he wanted at last, but Esau had nothing at all. Jacob got scared and he ran away fast, because Esau was big, you'll recall. There goes Jacob! I'd run too if I were him. Jacob moved off to a faraway land. He feared he could never go home. Jacob grew up to be quite a nice man. Now Jacob has sons of his own. Now Jacob is nice. It's about time. Jacob was sorry for all that he did. He went to see Esau one day. Esau, I'm sorry, the twin brother said. I wonder what Esau will say. Jacob seems sorry. What will Esau do? Esau pulled Jacob right into his chest and squeezed him as tight as he could. Oh no, he's crushing him. Esau forgave him for all that had passed. I'll bet that those hugs felt real good. Esau forgave Jacob. Boy, oh boy! That story was sensational. I'm so happy that Esau forgave Jacob. But I'm even happier that Jacob said he was sorry. Both brothers are better with their bitter battles behind them. <laughs> That's enough, Sparky. Sorry. Let's sing a song about Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau were twins. That's where the tale begins. But they were not alike at all. Jacob and Esau were twins. Jacob was sneaky and small. He wants to have it all. He plots to get what Esau has. Jacob was sneaky and small. Esau was hungry, you see. As hungry as can be. He gives his brother all he has. Esau was hungry, you see. Jacob had stolen away, but he came back one day. He tells his brother he was wrong. Jacob had stolen away. Esau's forgiven his twin. Now they are friends again. That's how they stay their whole life long. Esau's forgiven his twin. 
Sing along. Jacob and Esau are twins. That's where the tale begins. But they were not alike at all. Jacob and Esau were twins. Jacob was sneaky and small. He wants to have it all. He plots to get what Esau has. Jacob was sneaky and small. Esau was hungry, you see. As hungry as can be. He gives his brother all he has. Esau was hungry, you see. Jacob has stolen away. But he came back one day. He tells his brother he was wrong. Jacob had stolen away. Esau's forgiven his twin. Now they are friends again. That's how they stay their whole life long. Esau's forgiven his twin. <laughs> wow. Good job. That song was super. That soup was super too. Jacob and Esau were twins, but they were very different from one another. Can you find the differences between these pictures from the Jacob and Esau story? We can start with these two pictures of Esau. What is different? If you said that Esau's shirt is not the same, you're right. Now look at these pictures of Jacob. What's the difference? This Jacob is smiling, and this Jacob is frowning. That's right. Let's look at these two bowls of stew. What is the difference between them? You guessed it. This bowl is blue, and this one is red. Now look at these pictures of Esau eating. What is the difference in these pictures? This Esau is wearing a bib. Just one more. Look at these hugging brothers. What is the difference between the pictures? That's right. This pair of brothers has no shoes. You got them all. Way to go. Hey, Sparky. How are you at your multiplication tables? Well, I'm really good at the dinner table. Does that help? <laughs> not quite, Sparky. We're not going to eat in this story. We're going to count. Oh, I'm very good at counting. <laughs> then I'll count on you to introduce the story. Okay, Buzzer. It's called 70 times 7. Jesus' friends were sitting down with the Lord upon the ground. Jesus told them many things. Tales of farmers, sons, and kings. Jesus' stories are super. And exciting, too. First, the Lord tells everyone of a farmer and his son. That nice farmer, Jesus told, gave his son a bag of gold. That's a lot of gold. More than I could count. Soon the son had lost the bag. Being poor was quite a drag. I'm so sorry, said the son. I'll tell Dad what I have done. Oops, we lost the money. Will his dad be mad? So the son came back all sad, said, I'm sorry, to his dad. That dear dad forgave his boy, welcomes him with hugs of joy. The son is sorry. The farmer forgave him. Did you pay attention well to the tale you heard me tell? God's the farmer, you're the son. God forgives the bad you've done. God forgives us all. Thank you, God. Now that God's forgiven you, you know what you ought to do. Show each person that you see how forgiving you can be. Wow! We can forgive just like God. Jesus' friends all liked to hear this good news that Jesus shared. All that Jesus said is true. We can be forgiving too. Jesus, could you tell us how we can be forgiving now? When we hear apologies, how forgiving should we be? How often should we forgive someone? I don't know. Sorry. Jesus smiled at all his friends. He was glad to answer them. Be like God in all you do. God will always forgive you. We should always forgive. Just like God. Keep forgiving all your lives, not just once and not just twice. More than 70 times seven still is less than God in heaven. 70 times seven? That's a lot of times. I'll forgive all the time. 
What did you think of our story, Sparky? I could listen to it again and again. Really? How many times do you think, Sparky? How many times do you think, Buzzer? 70 times 7 is a lot. Can you help me count these things from our 70 times 7 story? Start with these friends of Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 5 friends. You got it. Now, count these pictures of the farmer. 1, 2, 3, 4. You counted 4 farmers. Fantastic! Count these pictures of the bag of gold. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six. There are six bags of gold. That's a whole gob of gold. Now, count these pictures of the farmer's son. One, two, three. Three sons. That was great. Just one more. How many pictures of Jesus can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven pictures. You did a great job, gang. Nice counting, everybody. I couldn't have done it without you. It's nice to have friends you can count on. Er, I mean count with. Lur, lur, lur. And now I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, the Bed Bug Amigos. In a small little corner of Mexico City, the bed bugs relax in the shade. All through their siesta, they share happy stories about all the friendly amigos they made. Amigo! The first bed bug told of a trip on a burrow Out through the hot desert they ride The new friend he met was a pointy saguaro The kind of amigo that sticks by your side Amigo Bug was telling about her vacation. She stayed at the beach for a day. Her brand new amigo was really the ocean, a friend that will always come give you a wave. Amigo! That's the word that you heard when they called you a friend. Another bug spoke of a friend who's quite hairy. He said, this amigo is great. And though a tarantula might seem quite scary, it's easy to shake hands, cause this friend has eight. Amigo. The festive siesta is done. But next time they meet, they'll have one story more because now they know you and they think that you're fun. Amigo! That's the word that you heard when they called you a friend. Amigo! It's a treat to repeat it again and again. And you'll know Vallarta up to Tijuana and all the way down to Cancun. The 
bed bugs all cheer that they'll see you manana. So come back tomorrow and join in the tune. Amigo. Thank you, Bandoliers. You've given us time for one more fabulous... Oh, sorry, I'm late, Buzzer. I forgive you, Sparky, but you didn't miss a thing when you were gone. I sure did miss something. What, Sparky? I missed you when I was gone, Buzzer. <laughs> That's sweet, Sparky. Now, let's not miss our next story. It's called The Forgiving King. There was a king upon a throne, as mighty as could be. There was no man in all the land who owned as much as he. That's one cool king. That's one rich king, too. The people in his kingdom often came to that kind king. They'd ask to borrow money so that they could pay for things. This king is very kind. He's a credit to kings everywhere. One day, as he was counting coins, the king saw something strange. A million bucks was missing, said the king. That's no small change. He's missing a million! Me, oh my! He found the man who took the cash. How come, the king inquired? I borrowed more than I could pay. Oh, please forgive me, sire. He can't pay the king. What will the king do? The king looked at the sorry man and told him, It's okay. I see that you are sorry, so I will not make you pay. The king forgave him. What a relief! The man jumped up and kissed the king. Gee, thanks, your majesty. He left the castle full of joy, forgiven, and debt-free. He's free to go! Just then, he bumped into a friend to whom he'd lent ten cents. You're just the guy I'm looking for. Give back that dime I lent. Take it easy, mister. Yeah, it's only a dime. Please, give me time to pay the dime, the sorry person wailed. Instead, he picked that poor man up and threw him into jail. Oh, no! Why is he being so mean? The king soon heard what happened there. He shouted from his throne, Bring me that unforgiving man. I'm calling in his loan. The king is upset. That lad should be more forgiving. The man bowed down before the king. The king knew what to do. If you cannot forgive, he said, then I can't forgive you. That man is going to jail. What a sorry sight. Now we all know that God forgives. God takes our sins away. So we should be forgiving too. Our king has shown the way. I like to forgive. Because God forgives us. I hope you liked our story. The bedbugs love to share the news that Jesus forgives us of all our sins. And Jesus wants us to be forgiving too. Forgive me for saying it, but that was a great story. <laughs> you don't need to be forgiven for that, Sparky. That's great too. Now you can sing a song about the forgiving king. We'll help you learn it. Sing a song of someone who borrowed from the king. When the debt was due, he couldn't pay a thing. Then the king forgave him, he didn't have a debt. Isn't that the kindest kind of king you've ever met? The man had left the castle and met another man. He asked that man to pay him as quickly as he can. Then the person begged for just a little time. Now he's in the jail because he couldn't pay a dime. Inside the castle, the king is quite upset, hearing that the man would not forgive a debt. How can I forgive you if you will not forgive? Isn't that the way that God would want us all to live? Everyone sing along. Sing a song of someone who borrowed from the king. When the debt was due, he couldn't pay a thing. Then the king forgave him, he didn't have a debt. Isn't that the kindest kind of king you've ever met? The man had left the castle and met another man. He asked that man to pay him as quickly as he can. And the person begged for just a little time. Now he's in the jail because he couldn't pay a dime. Back inside the castle, the king is quite upset. Hearing that 
that the man would not forgive a debt. How can I forgive you if you will not forgive? Isn't that the way that God would want us all to live? Good job, everyone. You sounded swell. I beg your pardon? I said it sounded swell. Can you match up these pictures from the Forgiving King story? We can start with this picture of the king. Where is its match? You got it! The king's match is right here. Now, look for the match for the man who borrowed money. Right! The other man is right over there. Where is the match for this poor man? Right again. The poor man's match is right here. Where is the match for this dime? That's it. You found the match right over here. Just one more to go. Find the match for this picture of Jesus. <laughs> you found it. That's all of the matches. You did a good job. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye! We are the bedbugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bedbugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bedbugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bedbugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. One, two, three. We are the bedbugs and we like to pray and praise and eat meringue. And if you like the song we sang, you're in the Bedbug Bible gang. Gang, ding, 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 ding.